today I'm going to show you guys how to unzip and zip up um, a file or folder. Um, so I was brought to my attention recently that uh, some people I know don't actually know what this is. And I feel like this is important if you're on computers a lot, if you're um, trying to get more into tech, this is kind of like a basic thing that will help you, you know, maneuver around a lot of small issues. So, for example, um, if you're trying to send a file over email to someone or let's say you upload it to the cloud to share it with, with someone or even if it's a application or some music or a program, some, anything that, you know, has a lot of files involved or is just a bigger file than usual, you want to make sure you're zipping it up. Um, zip, zipping a file or folder is basically compressing it. So the compression not only decreases the file size so you can share it e easier, but you also um, are able to take multiple files and turn them into one. And so that makes it even easier to share. So for example, I'm taking these two f test files here pretty much and I'm going to zip it up. So I already zipped up a folder as you can see under it, but just wanted to do another one just for uh, sake of transparency. So see what I just did? I right clicked, went to send to compress folder, and now I'm just going to name it zip folder 2. So it's already got zip folder 1. And um, so that's simple. It's, it's already zipped up. You see it took the file size from pretty much 10 megabytes down to less than one megabyte and it took those two files here and, and made them in one and I already did the same thing with this one that's why they're pretty much named the same same size and everything so I'm just gonna delete this one here and when you go to the zip folder if you want to unzip a folder same concept you're just doing it you know the opposite way pretty much um in this case if you're downloading music like I said if you're downloading movies or applications or Anything that um, requires, you know, like I said, multiple files or a lot of space, typically is going to come in, in a nice zipped up package. Um, and you'll know that it's a zip file by the dot .zip extension at the end. So if you're ever in a position where you need to unzip a file, you're going to right click that file. And um, you, can, you can go to open, but we're just going to go to extract all. That's where um, usually go if you want to be exact with it. Um, but like I said, it, you can also just open the file as well. But um, in, in some cases, that'll actually open the folder and show you the files inside of that zip folder. See, it, it just did that in this case. So you don't want to do that because it's still zipped up. You want to make sure you're unzipping it. And then you can use those files permanently without worrying about whether they're zipped or not. So um, in that case, you'll right click the folder, extract all is where you want to go to. And then um, it'll actually show you you know the destination that it, it's preset to you can click browse here if you want to change the destination path or wherever you unzip those files to um so if you have a path in mind that's what you want to do is go to browse and choose that path but in this case i'm gonna um default here because this is this folder here so um got to set to show extracted files when complete but i'm just gonna uncheck that since i already got this open so we're gonna do extract boom there you go. As you can see, created a new folder, named the exact same thing, zip folder, but instead of it being a .zip file, um, this is an actual folder with files inside. So as you can see, I got my two files inside, 10 megabytes pretty much worth of uh, data there. So you can see it uncompressed it back to its full size, um, full quality. And from there, you can take the files, you can do whatever. You know, you can install this exe, you can open up the readme file and read that. Um, but yeah, pretty much that's when you would use uh, compression or zip or unzip a file in those particular cases that I just named. Simple process. Once you learn it, pretty hard to forget. So um, yeah, hope this video helps you out. And uh, subscribe, leave a comment, um, like the video if you like it, of course. And um, leave a comment and let me know uh, wh what other tips are you looking forward to? What else do you need help with, whether it's on a computer, or, you know, PlayStation 4, um, with Fire Stick, you know, I pretty much um, have it uh, have a lot of different um, tips and methodologies about the way I go about doing things. Um, even if it's on a Mac, I have a MacBook as well. Um, expert on that type of stuff. So let me know what you need help with, and I can pretty much help you with anything. And if I don't know it, I can figure it out. So, yeah.